السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ شبہات کا ازالہ پیج کو سبسکرائب کریں اور بیل آئیکن دبائیں سب سے پہلے ویڈیو دیکھنے کے لیے بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم Principles of Da'wah being spread by the fitna of Alami Shura. First, to expel the significance of Markaz Nizamuddin from the hearts of the Tablighis worldwide. Second, to obscure and hurt Maulana Saad Sahab and his personality, who is the foundation and base of Markaz Nizamuddin. Third, to classify the people who call towards Markaz Nizamuddin as mushriks, hero worshippers and blind followers. Fourth, to bring themselves to say, Markaz is not real, the effort is real. Fifth, to say, where does it say that you might go to Nizamuddin? Sixth, to call Markaz Nizamuddin a dargha to the extent of defaming the family of Maulana Ilyas Sahab Rahmatullah using these means. So that just like visiting a dargha is considered an evil and mushrik deed, similarly they spread this about Markaz Nizamuddin as well, that it is a dargha, so wrong, so that people stop going. Then they begin to hate Markaz Nizamuddin. Sadly, these things form the equivalence of the sixth point for the Alami Shura. They keep repeating these points too. They are even regularly covered in the speeches and audios of Maulana Ibrahim Deola Sahab too. We Tablighis have been noticing for years that if a couple of years pass by wherein we don't return to Nizamuddin Markaz, then weakness begin to appear in our Dawa efforts. If we don't return in 10-20 years, can we even be qualified to be called Tablighi? This is the poisonous method by unseen forces so that the effort dies out and they can't even be blamed. World Shura Bayans A. Banglewali Masjid's wall and roof are not called Markaz. B. Wherever the works undertaken correctly, that place will be known as Markaz, otherwise not. C. Banglewali Masjid's now a shrine and its caretaker and attendant is Malvi Saad. D. At this moment deviation spreading from Nizamuddin Markaz. Hence it's no longer a Markaz. E. We request brothers from all over the world to spend time in your countries and under no circumstances should you attend Nizamuddin Markaz. F. Whoever goes to Nizamuddin Markaz is not from amongst us. G. To preclude someone from attending Nizamuddin Markaz is a virtuous deed. These citations are from the text and talks of responsible brothers of World Shura. After their talks, whoever attends Nizamuddin Markaz is assaulted, threatened and reproached. This has been prevalent in Gujarat, Karnataka and Hyderabad. When this reality of World Shura became apparent to the common people, they became fearless. Then they spoke of and attended Nizamuddin. The stance of England's Shura Dewsbury, the brothers of Dewsbury Markaz Shura advised one of their own responsible brother and Faisal, Ishaq Patel, let's inform Malana Saad Sahab that we are working under his supervision. Our stance will then become clear to all, as the public keep asking whether we are with Nizamuddin or World Shura. Infuriated, Ishaq Patel replied, wait 6 to 12 months, after which there will be no Malvi Saad or Nizamuddin Markaz. From now on, it will be the currency of World World Shura. Dewsbury Markers have determined the work will be done on the method laid down by Nizamuddin Markers. World Shura, link of the Dajjali effort. This movement came into existence all of a sudden with a lot of wealth and investment thrown behind it. History is testimony to the fact that fitnas such as these come quickly and cast their shadows over the whole world. In contrast, Haq come into existence slowly and is lasting, that's permanent. After 10 years of hard effort, Maulana Ilyas Rahmatullah took out his first three days Jamaat. Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was the epitome of sacrifice and mujahada, yet at the time of Hijrah, Muslims numbered approximately 123. By the time of his passing, Muslims numbered approximately half a million and one third of the Muslim Ummah performed the farewell Hajj. At one point that probably would have been unfathomable. After 2016, World Shura came to the fore and their word spread quickly in three months in seven major countries and the people rapidly accepted their ideology. Gradually though, as people realized the corrupt nature of the ideology and its members, they distanced themselves from World Shura, made Tawbah and realigned themselves with Markaz Nizamuddin. This movement have been waiting for approximately 25 years to explode onto the scene. They were waiting for a leader that was independent of reliance on people's wealth and possessions, who was beyond challenge in term of tawakkul and conviction and whose knowledge could not be tested by the forces of falsehood. Allah made it such 
that they were granted their wish in the form of Malana Saad Sahab. Then what happened? This year in 6 months the work increased 200 fold. In addition, in accordance with Allah's formula, world's shura, the jali fitna, become apparent and people begin to understand their falsehood and lack of foundation. They reverse their opinion and return to Nizamuddin Markaz. Recently, in Kulhind monthly mashwara, a combination of weaker states such as Andaman, Assam, Orissa, etc. got an average 400 jamaats ready. This is amazing. Are there three Saathis in Pakistan fit to be members of World Shura when they are currently being dragged through the courts for alleged fraud to the tune of 3.5 billion rupees? One Moli Sahab was kept in police custody for two days for being an informant for a neighboring country. The scheme of World Shura is to destroy Molana Ilyas's household. The campaign by people of Rivan is to remove the responsibilities of Tabligh from Molana Ilyas's family. This has been the age-old desire. Maulana Yusuf Sahab Rahmatullah was healthy. He had delivered a long talk in drive-in. After breakfast, he repeatedly vomited. Within a few hours, he passed away. Maulana Harun Sahab passed away at a tender age, without any prior illness. Maulana Saad Sahab, Allah gave him long life. Due to the internal planning, has been put into mental difficulties, the intention being to make him a mental patient and then leave him so that he is useful for nothing. They failed in this plan and hence they created this world shura to unsettle him and throughout worldwide opposition it has hoped that the torture would render him virtually comatose. Allah's help came to the fore such that in these grave conditions instead of falling Raivan's world shura could not dent him. Birth of World Shura Approximately 120 years ago, Stalin and Lenin, in opposition of democracy, prepared a world council, that's Alami Shura. The rational being that the post of prime minister or chairman lasted too long and many people were therefore precluded from holding a position they desired. By inception of a world council, people would get the opportunity to be leaders on a rational basis. World Shura's scheme is a contraption of communism and socialism. Both ideologies were destroyed by Allah Ta'ala. In 2016, people of Raven Markers decided to revive the dead Sunnah of Lenin and Stalin. This abomination of theirs will be remembered until Qiyamah. To dress socialism and communism with tabligh does not result in these ideologies becoming Muslim. If after elaboration in detail elucidation, if the heart is still inclined to world shura, then understand that a lock has been placed on the heart. Once the heart's sealed, the face loses its luster and becomes scary. How did differences of opinion begin among the workers of the tabligh? The elite group in Markaz Nizamuddin consisted of a few high-ranking ulama. They had been sent all around the world throughout Mashwara for approximately 40 to 50 years, despite numbering 6 or 7 only. The current zimmedars of Nizamuddin Markaz decided that there were many more brothers who were of the caliber to fulfill foreign taqazas, soon through mashwara, new brothers began to fulfill these taqazas. These few famous elders were told to rest. Now their desires were hurt and it became an issue of love for one's self. Human nature took over and subsequently they began to speak out against Merkaz. Soon this led them to desert Merkaz and they began an earnest campaign against Molan Saad Sahab. They fell within the remit of an aforementioned ayah that is on the verge. It wasn't just that they left Merkaz. It was the hate campaign that they begin, that is the effort has gone off track. Maulana Saad Sahab has changed his thinking, his ways and methodologies. Maulana Saad Sahab has moved himself away from the track of the pious predecessors. Maulana Saad Sahab interprets the Quran through his own thinking and gives his own personal opinions on the Quran. He changes the commandments of Sharia. He disrespects the status of prophets. Then to gloss over themselves, they seduced the people of Gujarat to win their support. They began travelling around the world together to Australia, New Zealand, South Africa, Panama, Barbados, Trinidad, Canada and UK. Over two years, they travelled on several occasions holding huge gatherings. However, when Allah's help is not with them, it all appears to be a mirage. Similarly, their one last hope was holding an ijtima in Blackburn. Even this did not...